wanted to show you today, and it is on the well-known Uber Chic Matte by Uber Chic Beauty. I'm pretty sure every nail artist already knows what an Uber Chic Matte looks like, but I'm just giving you the quick look of it if you have not seen it before. Here's what it looks like in comparison to my hand, and it is a silicone-based matte that is very malleable and has a bit of stretch to it. So I'm just going to show you some cool things that it I'm does. I'm going to start off in the top corner and show you how it works with stamping. I want to say first you have to put down a top coat or a base coat of any kind or just any regular clear polish because the stamping will not stick to the mat if there's not a uh, clear coat down. I'm not really sure why but you just want to make sure that you have a top coat down and you want a pretty For thick the stamping, liner. I'm going to be using Moe London's Tropical Collection Plate number 18 and my Winstonia Jelly Stamper. If you want to see how these work, I have a video on my channel called Winstonia Stamper Review and if you want to see how this one works, it'll be there. I'm going to stamp on the image. And you want to use the one with a clear coat on it and it goes on perfectly. and if you want to fill in the image you just want to take some of your polish put it off to the side you can take a dotting tool or a brush and you can go into the image like that and this doesn't have to be perfect because you'll be flipping it over and the finished design will be on there You can do this however you want. You can use a polish brush if you feel like it, or you can be technical and go in with a dotting tool or a small detail brush. The big thing for the decals that you color in with nail polish, these ones do take a lot longer to dry, and I'm just going to show you that this one is not dry because when you push on it, you don't want to be able to see your fingerprint. and. I just put my fingerprint in so you don't want to have that even though the clear is dry on the sides and that comes up like that. Even though the clear is dry, that does not mean the whole thing is dry. After waiting about 20 minutes, it's dry and I'm just going to use my tweezers since I already picked up some of the edge. So I'm going to pick up image like that and there it is and you put it on your nail by just putting it on like that going around the sides and like trimming it up trimming off the sides and then putting a clear coat on top of it and then it should stay there for about a another week. technique that I like to do for the mat is making oops making like stripes that you would do like in a water marble kind of I don't really know how to explain it but once you see it you'll understand and you want to take a brush and make the lines going down and then you can have them going back up through. The great thing about this mat is it's for creativity and you can just choose what you want to do. If you've ever had the problem of trying to create the perfect manicure with using um, nail vinyls and you don't want to waste them, the Uber Chic mat is a perfect alternative for using them. So I'm going to go in with my Mermaid Scale Vinyls from What's up nails? And I'm going to pick up one of the vinyls here. I'm just going to place that down and try to get the excess ones off. Okay, that didn't work. Oh well, we'll just keep it there. 
And this is a great way to use your vinyls um, if you're not good at using them on your nails. So what you do is you just put down random splotches of your nail polish on the vinyl and then you use your stamping scraper and you scrape wherever you want like that and it blends together and then you take your tweezers and you take it off and it makes a perfect sketch of your vinyl and you can also reuse the vinyl again as you saw I just placed it down right next to it and nothing seeped through the bottom at all it's all the same and this is how I did my manicure here I have my ring finger middle finger and my thumb all have the vinyl but I only used two vinyls for both of my hands so I used six decals with only one vinyl so you can use this however many times you want basically for every single decal that you make on here you use your cuticle pusher and then it just pops up like that you really need to make sure it's dried before you pick it up or else it'll stretch and it will get ruined oops my goodness i keep dropping it so Once you have this done, you can just take a piece of scotch tape or a lint roller and place it on the excess and it just peels right off. That's the other really awesome thing about this mat is that it's perfect if you're a messy nail artist and you can just use this instead. And when those are done um, drying, you want to put a top coat or a quick dry top coat whatever is your favorite and you want to put that on top and let that dry for you a do while. the same thing with this one use your cuticle pusher go around the sides first to make sure it really is dry you can use your fingers or tweezers to pick it up like that and there it is and then same thing, you would place that on your nail too, however you want, like that. If you've been wanting to make a perfect French manicure and you just don't have the technique to do it, uh, this Uber Chic mat has the perfect way. You want to use the round tips on the nails and you just use the outside of the nail design and you want to go around. It doesn't matter if it's perfect or not because you will just peel it off and it'll be exactly how you want on your nail. And you can put whatever design on the manicure if you want. Uh, like It doesn't matter what you use. So I'm just going to put a couple of polka dots on here real quick. And you just jot it down. Perfect. So once the French tip is dry, you want to take your cuticle pusher and go along the side like that. And carefully peel that up like that and there it is like that so you can just place that on your finger like that or however you want to put it on and there's the front and the last thing about this mat that's really cool is that since it is a silicone based mat you can just take some acetone and your cotton ball or whatever you use to take it up like that. And you're done. I hope you all enjoyed my um, review of the Uber Shape mat.
If you have any questions, you can leave comments down below, and I will put a link in the description box of where to get it. I believe it's just uberchicbeauty.com. And um, please subscribe, like this video, and have a nice day.